Welcome to a step-by-step -step video guide on how to archive candidates and how to restore or permanently delete them from your database. Note that this whole process applies not only to candidates, but also to jobs and organizations. In Manitol, candidate deletion is a two-step process. First, you'll need to archive your candidates, and then you can delete them within the dedicated menu in the administration. Admins can archive any candidate in the database, while other users can only archive the candidates they own. The reason for this two-step process is that we want you to have the flexibility to archive data for long-term storage and also have the option to restore data to your account at any time. Please note that archived candidates or jobs count towards the total number of candidates and jobs under an account, while permanently deleted candidates or jobs do not. Let's begin at step one, which is to archive candidates. Archiving candidates means that these candidates will not be visible anymore to any of the users under your account. This step can be performed on individual candidates or in bulk. For archiving individual candidates, you can go to any candidate profile, click on the three dots icon, and then Archive. Click Continue to confirm, and the candidate will be archived. Or, on the Candidates tab, click on the three dots next to the candidate name, and the option to archive the candidate will appear. For bulk archiving candidates, stay on the Candidates tab. Select the candidates to be archived. Once the candidates have been selected, click on Bulk Actions, and then Archive from the drop-down menu. Click Continue to confirm, and the candidates will be archived. Step 1 is complete, and we're ready to move to restoring and deleting archived candidates. Note that this step can only be done by an admin. Non-admin users can archive the candidates they own, but they cannot delete them because they do not have access to the administration. Go to Administration from your side menu, open the Data Management category, and then Archive Data. Go to Candidates, and on the side of each candidate, you'll see two icons. The folder icon with the arrow is for restoring, and the bin icon is for deleting. Restoring a candidate will make that candidate's profile once again visible to all the users under your account. To delete or restore multiple candidates at once, you can also click on Delete Permanently or Restore from the Bulk Actions drop-down menu. It is important to note that permanently deleting one or more candidates cannot be undone and will lead to any associated data, such as matches, to be permanently deleted as well. Tick the boxes to confirm that this is acknowledged and confirm the deletion by clicking on Continue. And that's it. You've learned how to archive, restore, and delete candidates, allowing you to keep your recruitment database clean and organized.